Hey guys, so this is what you need to know before going to an immigration office. later I went to the bank to go and open the bank account and the lady was like this is not a Nigerian passport this is an ECOWAS passport I can't believe that I got scammed in my own country inside the immigration office hey Jesus wonder shall never end do my hair toss check my nails baby how you feeling hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm chi and it's chi time if this is your first time stopping by you are so welcome and if you're really part of this amazing family thank you so much for staying tuned on today's episode i'm going to be telling you guys how i got scammed at the immigration office my money was gone my passport i didn't see and this happened in the immigration office in fact a security officer introduced him to me Hey, I am ready to fight. Anyways, stay tuned. Don't touch the dial. Keep watching. The sun is smiling on my beautiful face. <laughs> so I just finished working and I'm heading to the immigration office to, to activate my passport. You guys, guess what? I renewed my passport about... It's getting to three months, actually. And these guys, they had the audacity to give me my passport without activating it. There's actually more to this story, but let's just go there first because this story, I got to sit down, chop, and teach you guys everything that happened because it was war. You can imagine. I paid for passports. I paid extra. Paid more than what normal people should pay. And yet, this guy was using me to play around. Like, you guys, before I got my passport nah wait let me go to this ej and come back if you don't know what ej is is waka let's work out the waka and come back first okay i've got my max here and my sanitizer is inside my bag let's see how this is going to go see you guys in a bit look at the sun shining on my face look at the sun shining on my face oh I have to walk all this literally this is stressful this is freaking stressful and nothing let me give you an overview of how everywhere is and here is how I have to walk and boom so I was coming from that building right over there <sighs> hey guys so I'm back and this is what happened I can't believe that I got scammed in my own country inside the immigration office hey Jesus wonder shall never end anyway so my passport had expired um, since June last year June right yeah expired last year June so I had something very important to do so I had to go renew it and it was quite urgent so I got there and the security man you know how scary they can be sometimes and he was like hey you come here and me being the nice and polite person I went good evening sir and he asked okay what do you want to do here I told Mr. Man that I'm here to renew my passport and he said okay just just sit down here I don't want to stress you 
I'm going to pair you with someone that's going to direct you and tell you what to do. I was actually excited because I know how stressful and hectic the process might be. Um, knowing the fact that, you know, you know what's happening, like it's an immigration office and we know where we are in this country. So I was kind of excited and okay so this guy took me to the office and he was quite known and he was like kind of like a popular person in that station so i was excited that things are going to go really smooth so we went there he gave me a form i filled it and i asked him how much initially i checked online they said um to renew your passport is 25k and then he told me that oh no that price is for the new that price is for the old passport and the new passport is thirty five thousand. I'm like okay I didn't get that information online so maybe he's just saying the truth <clears throat> and I'm like why should he actually lie he's he's here I could actually ask someone and they will blow up his cover so I told him that yo how soon can I get this passport I need it so urgently and he was like oh you can actually get it next week we started filling out the form and then he discovered that I don't have my national identity card. According to them, it is so compulsory, so he asked me to go get that done. I rushed down to the to the national identity card office and the procedure took forever. The line was so long and it was on a Friday. Why did I remember that though? <laughs> so it was on a Friday. I waited and waited and well, I ended up getting my my um, national identity card on a monday and i called him i'm like yo my card is ready so can i come over to the office he was like no need for you to come over just send me a, a, a picture of it then i'll get everything ready but before we got to even this part he knew how urgent i wanted the passport so he told me that if you want this passport you need to pay 40k like for express <laughs> and all i had was actually 35k because the budget was 25 but i took extra 5k just for you know in case of transport or anything that happens ha huh. so i ended up transferring the money to this guy one he was an evil guy i thought like okay i could trust you two he was an immigration officer he knew everybody and everybody knew him like when when he was passing people were just healing him chica 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 so i felt like i was in a safe hand fast forwarding to monday i called him can i come over he said oh you need to just send me the picture on whatsapp and i'll get everything ready monday i sent him the picture i'm like okay how far he said i should just wait because the national identity card number needs to show like it needs to drop that was the language he used so i kept on waiting a week passed by i'm like okay i'm beginning to sense some kind of Iberiberism happening somewhere here. <laughs> so this guy was just turning me around, like he was just turning on you. On. I'll call this guy, he'll be like, It hasn't dropped, it hasn't dropped, it hasn't dropped. And I called someone, How long does it take for the national identity card number to drop? Oh my god, I think I'm speaking too fast. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. And they said, As long as it is confirmed, like there at the office, which it was already confirmed. But this guy was still insisting that, No, it hasn't dropped, da 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 one week passed the next week came this guy was still saying the same the same story i'm like nah bruh something is up i called him i'm like yo you know how urgently like i had to tell this guy that i'm using it to apply for a job that's to show like the seriousness of the whole situation but this guy hmm, it doesn't consign him it didn't consign him it will not consign him so so I started getting really furious. So I decided to go to the office myself to look for this chick and find out what's going on. I went there to go and complain because initially I wanted to start the whole process myself. I wanted to do everything myself. I wanted to pay online, but I had this fear that I might pay online and then there might be some complications that I didn't pay well or this is that money is missing. A girl doesn't have so much money like that to be wasting. So I decided to go there myself so i met this other guy he looks really rugged and stuff i'm like okay i'm gonna speak to you i went there i'm like hi i have a case to report i'm looking for chica i paid for my passport i paid 40k instead of the normal 30k it's not actually normal 30k so according to him yeah the extra 5k is to pay people like pay people in the immigration office to do their own job or, like you pay them like when you're dropping a file you have to drop some extra cash i'm like okay I need this urgently so let's just get it over with 
So I went to this guy now. I told him everything and he was like, Chica, 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 Chica. You know what? Hold on. Let me call Chica. Called him Chica. I wasn't picking. Okay, guys. So when I knew that this guy was playing games, I picked up my phone. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Hello, nigga. Where you day? <laughs> Okay, this wasn't actually funny. I don't know why I'm laughing about it. I'm just in a really good mood today. So I called him, Chica, where are you? Here is my passport. I need to apply for this job. Like, what's going on? You told me it's going to be ready. Um, the same, like, the next week because I went on this on a Friday. And, like, you know the seriousness of the whole thing? Why are you trying to delay my passport and other stuff? He was like, oh, no, 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 The passport is ready. Come to the office today around 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, I went there called Chica, Chica, where are you? He was like, oh, he's coming, that he went to do something for his boss, da 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 da. I'm like, okay, one hour passed, I'm calling Chica. Chica said he's still coming, that he's busy, he's coming right away. I knew that something was off. I knew that something was really, really off. So I went to that officer that was looking really rugged and I spoke to him, he was like, Chica, 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 Chica need a year word. Chica need a year word, eh? Until they were Chica. <laughs> I'm like, Hey, Mugbe, I have entered. So, um, this other guy was also trying to talk to me and stuff. So, I just let them know what had happened. They were all so pissed. I'm like, what's going on? So, the guy, the guy now told me I'm not the first person. That I'm like the fourth person that's coming to him about Chica. I'm like, ho, 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 no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh uh, no, 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 this is not happening. So we start calling Chica. Chica now hung up. I'm like, Chica, where the freaking hell are you, nigga? You need to come here. This was like, relax now. I thought your passport is ready, blah, 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 blah. He was even shouting at me. Okay, so the guy now said, all right, um, let's go to the, is it the, the socket room? Yeah, I think that's the word. To the socket room to, to check, to check if like the passport is ready. So I went there and they asked me for like some number and i told him that chica didn't give me any number so i called chica chica sent me the number chica was just fumbling like i told you i'm coming what are you doing in the socket room what is to go to the socket room is it not me you're dealing with blah, blah, blah. the dude was just ranting 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 as if i stole his goods i was so pissed like i'm coming from a very far place look the immigration office is so far from my house it's literally really really far i made this journey like i was supposed to go there to get my passport but i'm here trying to find out if you did my passport and you're shouting at me okay <clears throat> so they checked they checked my name and everything they said that see <laughs> you don't have a passport like your passport is not ready hey god hmm. they asked me how much did you take from me i told them 40k they were like Chai, chica don't blow hey 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 in my mind i'm like oh my god how did i get into this mess like why did i not listen to my mind because honestly my gods were telling me like why don't you just wait and like when you get your national identity card then you come back and do everything but then again i needed the password so urgently and he told me that okay like i can start the process now and just wait for you to like get the number once you get the number like everything is just going to like happen so fast i was like putting so much pressure on him he stopped taking my calls and all this kind of thing. Hey, Ishimbaka. My head was like sparking. I'm like, yo, 40k. That's not a small money. Like, I work so hard for my money. You just cannot come and just take it and just disappear. Like, I paid you extra to do your job. You took my money and you're not even going to deliver on what I paid you for. Like, I was so pissed. Like, I'm saying, like, even if you took that extra money, just deliver what you promised on. I told the number of that other rugged immigration officer, so I was talking to him. Okay, so when do I come there and find Chica? Because I need to see Chica face to face and ask him why he doesn't want to give me my money. So he said, okay, you know what I'll do for you? When I see Chica, I'll call you. And then he took me to a place where I can actually get snacks and drinks men those immigration officers the way they look at girls or women and ladies who mm -mm -mm -mm. they could literally eat you with their eyes like the moment you turn you see a guy just like turn this way like turn this way like 
Hi, can I get your num? Can I get your? So yeah, I was not talking to this other guy. The guy was just pestering me. The guy was just pestering me and just talking and talking. And he asked for my number. I'm like, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. and he was like, you should actually be, you should actually be the one taking my number because I have something like I have a very important information to give you. I'm like, oh wow, what's up? He was like. See, Chica is not around. Chica was arrested because the same thing you came here for. He's been doing it to lots of people. Like, what he has been doing is that he will take your money for passport, right? And he'll give it to another person that he's owing. That's what he has been doing. I'm like, hey, how did I enter this big trap? So, I now told him, okay, I'll take your number. <laughs> I asked him, I asked the other rugged guy, like, is chica around they told me gang get chica is at the gates run and start coming hey i wore my face cap i think that was in the morning no that was in the afternoon i just finished taking my bath i just wore my face cap threw on like a very big shirt and then a short i think a trouser not really sure and my slipper i took a taxi i went but i went there I tried calling him several times he wasn't picking and i asked the guy because i was standing behind him i didn't want him to see me and run away i tapped the other guy like is that chica the guy said yeah that's chica but don't tell him that i said he is chica i'm like okay so what the freaking hell is happening here i tapped him hi chica how far he was like fine i told him he asked me to come get my passport on monday i was here and Nothing happened, he didn't show up, he didn't pick up my calls. And he was like, oh, he was running around, blah, 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 blah. I told him, nigga, please, go get my passport for me. This was just walking around. I'm like, hey, I did not come here to play with you. You understand? I need my passport right now. I told you how urgent I needed that passport, and you charged me for the urgency. And now, my money, mayor, passport, mayor, what do you want me to do? Dude was still misbehaving apparently um he was being arrested he could move around but he couldn't go out of the office and stuff so i was like okay so what do we do he was just there fumbling and fumbling i'm like i'm not leaving here until i get my money huh i just started making a scene because i know that fight i cannot fight <laughs> i said making i'm like yo you have to give me my money like you have to give me my money today my money or my passport in fact i don't want my passport anymore i want my money Full stop so he stepped back in he was like don't create a scene i'm like no i was so upset i and I, I was not telling the other because there was an officer with him i started, I started telling the officer that, i said asking the officer why would you people let this kind of person still be in the office knowing that he does this kind of thing he should have lost his job long long time ago because he's ruining the image of the immigration office here I'm like, this guy is ruining your reputation. This is the reason why Nigerians are being tagged red, are being flagged all around. Like, this is the reason why lots of us, would, like, when we go to foreign countries, we don't get a job. This is the reason why even... Oh, my God. I started preaching. <laughs> you had some other guys in their cars were like, yes, tell them, tell them. The other guys were like, don't let this guy go. Hold him. I will stay here with you. <laughs> it was a drama full day and the day was full of drama so we stood there so the immigration guy stepped begging me i called the rugged guy i told him okay I'll, i'm with chica now come come there <clears throat> he came he was threatening to be chica he was like chica where the money where the money where the money <laughs> in my mind i'm like yes tell him i give my money i'm not even going to hear him so um chica was like okay let's go to town to withdraw but the other immigration officer said he can't actually leave because he's under arrest blah 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 i'm like okay then call somebody to give me my money or better still you have a phone transfer the money to the immigration officer's phone and then his account and then he can send it to me this was just going left right and center <coughs> i told him you know what i'm calling the dp of police i brought out my phone hello yes i'm with him here he's right here he's not giving me my money what do we do start coming start coming no 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 need to start coming dude was begging he was like no now we never reached like that now you, never reach like waiting and i thought in fact stand let me take your picture stand ah look look at me let me take your picture <laughs> and he was like why do you want to take my picture I told him dude 
I gave you money to do my passport. He did not do my passport. I want to take your picture. Why are you not wanting me to take your picture? He was like, no, now that's some evil thing. I'm like, so what you did to me is not evil? Hmm? Took my money. Took extra, extra, extra. You did not get your job done. And you're telling me, taking you a picture, <laughs> trying to scare you is some evil shit. Do it, please. <laughs> dude was freaking out it was like oh he's going to call his brother it got to a point like like people around you were like yes catch him tell him to get the money where's the dpo like everybody was just gingering me like the things i was saying were just making so much sense because honestly people like this are the people ruining our image in nigeria people like this are the reason why when we get to airports like they'll be looking at us like okay you are Nigerian, stand there, stand there. Um, security, please come and search this person extra, extra. I was literally so pissed because I don't understand how the headquarters of immigration will be tolerating such nonsense. But anyways, I have to actually give it to them. They were not tolerating him. They were actually working. They were working seriously to make sure that he pays the money to every other person that he's owing. Thanks to them. Thanks to them. Before I went, I spoke to the other guy that was trying to talk to me and he was like, you know what, come tomorrow, I will tell you who to meet. So I came back home, I called Chica, Chica was like ignoring me to a point he's still shouting at me. I'm like, you're shouting at me, is it because I'm not there? Eh? I'm in the at home, that's why. The following day. I went as early as possible, I spoke to the Savicom crew, they were like, ah, oh, Chica again, Chica. Why this boy need they here? Why this boy need they here? I'm like, me girl, I just want my money. So they said, okay, I know the person handling your case, we'll take it to him. By then I've already called Chica. That night he was threatening me. They told me what to tell him, so I called him. I'm like, yo, I'm going to go and meet this person if you don't send my money today. He was like, okay, I'm sending your money. I'll send it right now. Dude did not send it. So I'm like, I'm not bluffing. I'm actually going to go and do this thing I said I wanted to do. So I went there, they took me to this guy. Reaching there, there was actually another guy that um, there's actually another girl that had the same issue. She was looking for money, so I went there and they took my number. They took my number. They took my name. What else? Um, they wrote down the case, and then um, the person in charge of the case called someone else to go and find Chica. They found Chica. They dragged him to the office. They handcuffed him. They took his shoes. They were like they're going to sell his, his shoes, sell his phones to give me back my money. The guy just told me, you know what? Go home. I'll call you when we get your money. Okay, I'll call you when we get your money. I waited for like three, four days. I did not see my money. I started calling the man. My money. What's happening? What's going on? When am I going to get my money? So at the end of the day, he called me. He was like, your money is ready. Yes! 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 Come and get it. Hi! I was so excited. I went there. I took my money. I told him, thank you. On the other hand, this other guy that was trying to help me, he said, you know what, because of all this stress, I'm going to help you do your passports. He took my, my old passport and everything, and he did it for me for a way cheaper price. Thank you so much. If you ever come across this video, thank you. I am so grateful. And he did my passport for me. Several months later. Hallelujah. Three months later, I went to the bank to go and open the bank account. And the lady was like, this is not a Nigerian passport, this is an ECOWAS passport. I'm like, what do you mean this is an ECOWAS passport? She was like, your passport is not real. I called the guy, why is my passport, why are they saying my passport is not real? After much investigation, she was like, your passport is not activated. I'm like, wow. And I was in that state. I'm like, how can you give me a passport that is not activated? You guys know that I can get into big trouble for like moving around with like a passport that's not activated oh um, more this guys these guys are so freaking funny well three months later i took the passport back to them which was which was today and they activated it ha huh, long story short so thank god i got my passport back and it was actually really bad that they would give me a passport that's not activated it was really horrible because i could have gotten into big trouble well thank god I got my money, I got my passport done for a cheaper price, and I didn't get into trouble because of that. Aha! Uh -huh. Another thing. 
a friend of mine told me that someone in his church was giving testimony that thank god though he got his money or was it his passport back after so many trials and so many things that he prayed and the person that did that to him was chica how long did it take i've forgotten the exact story but the, the guy went through a similar thing like i did by the end glory be to god he also got everything sorted out hey guys so this is what you need to know before going to an immigration office number one please do not give anybody money to do your passports without making sure that everything is done and complete number two don't deal with anybody that is not wearing uniform because he's not the only one there are many chicas flying around in that immigration office <clears throat> it doesn't even have to be in that branch it can be in any other branch just be careful pass through the right and normal procedure this one self that happened it was it was an officer like a security officer that introduced him to me don't listen to anybody go straight into the office and ask and ask someone on uniform from the right procedure not mago mago the right procedure okay guys thank you so much for coming to the end of today's episode thanks for watching let me know if you like today's story time and leave a comment down in the comment section below what you would have done if you were found in this kind of messy situation if you haven't given this video a huge thumbs up please do like subscribe share to you my next video do my head toss check my nails baby how you feeling